Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MatTube. This is lesson number 17 and we are still on improper integrals. But today we are going to learn something new that is type 2 improper integrals. And I hope you are doing good with type 1. I gave a lot of work in the last uh, video and I hope you got the answers. And as always, the five most important points while you watch a video lesson. Especially when you want to learn math with video lesson. So please be ready with a pen and a paper and make sure you work out the problems along with us. Don't just watch these videos like a movie because you are learning something, you are learning mathematics. And to learn mathematics, you have to work out the problems again and again till you have become confident. And of course, the first thing, the most important thing, you have to understand the logic behind things, etc, etc. And that's it. So, let's start. Uh, so, look at this. Type 1 improper integral was very easy to identify as well as to solve. And type 1 improper integral means either the upper limit or the lower limit will be connected with plus or minus infinity. And the method is very simple. We convert it into a limiting problem. Type 2 integral is a little bit hard in the sense it is a little bit hard to identify and if you are not careful sometimes it is going to cause trouble for us. And one of the best examples I have is 1 by x square. You will understand this uh, if you look at the graph of 1 by x square. Look at this. 1 by 0 square is infinity. So at 0 the graph is at plus infinity. And 1 by 1 square is 1. So at 1 the graph is here. And 1 by minus 1 the whole square is also 1. So at minus 1 also the graph is here. So basically we can see that the graph crashing down. Just imagine if this is one unit where will be infinity. So you can feel the graph crashing down from infinity to the point 1. And then the graph gradually fades. Because if you plug in 2, you are going to get 1 by 2 square, that is 0.25. Isn't it? So the graph fades slowly or mathematically we use the word asymptote. The graph becomes an asymptote. The height between the x-axis and the graph goes slowly to 0. Okay, now we are integrating this in a very special region, minus 1 to 1. So... If you use that process, like what you call, you use the formula minus 1 by x and plug in minus 1 to 1. And you can keep this minus outside and you can plug in minus 1 to 1. So you get 1 by 1 uh, minus minus plus 1 by 1. So you get a finite number, but this is wrong. So that is why I told you Type 2 is a little bit hard to uh, call, observe. You can never skip type 1 because upper limit or lower limit will be infinity. But type 2, uh, is a, you, you have to be very careful. You have to be always um, looking at the function. You should look at the function and check whether the function becomes infinite in between the limits or at the limits and that is our type 2 okay so look at this it's very easy to observe type 2 if you follow this method given any integral I'll repeat it is easy to observe if you follow this for each and every integral and I don't think so we, we will be observing each and every function. We just try to evaluate the integrals. Okay, you imagine or you think about all the numbers between A and B and check whether any number between A and B will cause trouble for the function 
or trouble in the sense will it create infinity or minus infinity and the mathematical language used here is will there be any singularity at a or b or in between anyway so we are going for type 2 and i'm going to classify type 2 into two again type 2 very simple problems and type 2 special case type 2 simple problem means the endpoints will give you the trouble. Either A or B will be the troublemaker. So that it is like easy to observe. And as usual, what we do is a very simple trick. We convert the problem into a limit problem. For example, suppose I want to integrate from 0 to uh, 5, 1 by x square. So this is a type 2 simple problem. Because I know that if you plug in 0, you're going to get infinity and look at the graph because if you observe the graph it will be very 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 logical so at 1 the height is 1 at 1 by 2 the height is somewhere here because it will be 4 units or something but at 0 the height is at infinity so what we do is we literally erase this part the troublemaking part from the graph and we observe the rest we observe this part and we try to evaluate this. See, I just erase the troublemaker. Who is the troublemaker? Zero. So what I did is, we had zero here. So I erased the nearby part of zero. And in limit language, we write like this. Zero plus h. Where h is very small. Okay, I will give you another example. Integral. 1 to 3, 1 by x minus 1. So look at this. I am going to call this as type 2 simple problem. I told you I am going to divide it into two. Simple problem, special problem. Look at this lower limit. In simple problem, it will be very easy because all you have to do is you have to plug in the lower limit and upper limit and check whether you get something like infinity or minus infinity. Clearly, the lower limit is a troublemaker. So, what I do is, look at this. The, we are bounded between 1 and 3. And who is the troublemaker? 1. So, look at this. I am taking an eraser. And literally, I am erasing this part. I am erasing the troublemaker. Who was the troublemaker? 1. So, now we are a little bit ahead of 1. I will repeat. We are not at 1. We are a little bit ahead of 1. So, we are at 1 plus h. But I told you, we are a little bit ahead of 1. So, I have to take the limit h tends to 0, 1 plus h. Okay, now I will give you another question. Uh, I hope you know the fact, um, what do you call, log 0 is minus infinity. Okay, because I am going to give you a question related to that. So, integral 0 to 1 log x. So, Again, I am telling you, this is, oh, I forgot dx. This is type 2 symbol. I am going to classify type 2 symbol, type 2 special. Symbol means you have to focus only at the endpoints. Okay, plug in log 0. I already told it is minus infinity. Log 1 is not going to make any trouble. So, look at this. This is the range from 0 to 1. And who is the troublemaker? Yeah, 0. So, where is my eraser? Yeah, I am going to erase this. I don't want this person. I am just going to erase this. Yeah. So, what happened is, I moved a little bit ahead 0 plus h. And it's so small, I took limit h tends to 0. Okay, with this logic, let's start working out the problems. So, please write the first question. Evaluate the integral if it is convergent integral 0 to 1, 1 by root under 1 minus x square dx. Um, so, look at this. I will repeat. You have to be very, 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 very observant. Otherwise, um, these improper integrals will not be visible in your eyes. Anyway, right now we are learning improper integrals. So, you know the limits are going to give you trouble or any point between the limits will give you trouble. 
look at this it's not type 1 because the limits look pretty decent there is no infinity but when you plug in 1 it's obvious when you plug in 1 you're going to get infinity so let me draw my famous line 0 to 1 okay so who is the villain or I'll make it like very clear yeah, 0 to 1 okay so this is our range and who is the villain 1 so I don't want him so I take my eraser and I rub that from my life so I go a little bit backwards I'm at 1 minus h okay so this is the logic used here so what we do is we'll write limit h tends to 0 and the troublemaker I don't want 1 now I'm going a little bit behind that 1 by root under 1 minus x square dx I hope you understood this part now this is exactly like uh, type 1 now you just deal the problem just like you did in type 1 so let's draw a separator and on one side we write the given integral without limits and the answer is sine inverse x plus c so let's plug in so i get limit h tends to zero and this integral is sine inverse x and within the limits zero to one minus h and that will be limit h tends to zero upper limit so let's plug in 0 you get sine inverse 1 that is pi by 2 sine inverse 0 0 so pi by 2 so the given integral converges to pi by 2 so please write another question evaluate the integral 0 to 1 sine inverse x by root under 1 minus x square dx so obviously like i told you before you have to check the endpoints by plugging in the denominator and obviously one is a troublemaker in the exam you can write like this at x equal to 1 sine inverse x by root under 1 minus x square tends to infinity therefore x equal to 1 is a singularity you cannot say troublemaker it's a singularity so as usual I write 0 and 1 and the troublemaker is 1 so I take my eraser and I go a little bit back I go a little back little bit so I moved backwards so it is 1 minus h so can you please help me with the next line it's always limit h tends to 0 integral 0 to 1 minus h write the same thing okay now you have to do this on one side okay so write the given integral without limits and that is equal to i can see a function and its derivative so the best method is substitution method I'm going to put sine inverse x is equal to t so that 1 by root under 1 minus x square dx will be dt so this will be dt and this will be t and we get integral t dt and t means t to the power 1 that is t square by 2 plus c and again you replace t with sine inverse x so we get sine inverse x the whole square by 2 plus c okay now we are ready here for integration so we get limit h tends to 0 that is guaranteed and the integral value is sine inverse x the whole square by 2 and the limits are 0 and 1 minus h now plug in these values I'll keep this 1 by 2 outside so limit h tends to 0 sine inverse 1 minus h the whole square minus sine inverse 0 the whole square 
Now when you plug in this will be pi by 2, pi by 2 squared, pi squared by 4, we get pi squared by 8. This will be 0. So what we write is the given integral converges to pi squared by 8. Now I am going to ask you a question. Can you evaluate integral 1 to infinity log x by x square dx? Uh oh, this is not type 2. I was just testing you whether you understood that or not. This is type 1. And how do I know it is type 1? This is type 1 because one of the limit is associated with infinity or minus infinity. And how do you proceed in type 1? You just write limit t tends to infinity, integral 1 to t, uh, log x by x square dx. I will give you a hint for this. If you want to integrate, if you want to integrate log x by x square dx, what you do is you just write this as log x into 1 by x square dx. And you can apply integration by parts. First function. And please keep in mind, integral 1 by x square is minus 1 by x plus c. So the second function integrated gives you minus 1 by x. And the derivative of first log x square derivative is 1 by x dx. And that will be minus log x by x plus integral 1 by x square again it will be um, minus 1 by x plus c. So you end up with minus is common it's log x plus 1 by x plus c. Now you can integrate by yourself. Yeah. So remember I just gave you this question to check whether you are clear with type 1 or not. This is not type 2. Type 1 is very, 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 very clear. It's obvious by just looking at the limit. Okay, now let's do one more question and wind up this video. So please write, evaluate the integral 0 to 1 log x dx. So what do we do? Clearly this is not type 1. Clearly, this is not type 1 because the limits are not infinity or minus infinity. But I can see one villain here because if I plug in this lower limit, log 0 tends to minus infinity. So, x equal to 0 is a villain. x equal to 0 is a troublemaker. But in the examination, don't use such words. Just write x equal to 0 is a point of singularity. Okay, so look at this, I will write this is 0 and this is our 1. And who is the villain? 0. Now I don't want him, I am going to erase him. I am going to move a little bit forward. I am going to move a little bit forward. I don't want, my, want 0. So I went, I went a little bit forward. So now it is like 0 plus h. Okay, so the trick is very simple. Limit h tends to 0. Intel 0 plus h to 1 log x dx. I hope you understood the trick. You I hope you understood what is type 2 simple problems. In simple problems, the limits will make the function infinity. One of the limit will make the function infinity. Yeah, okay. Now, time to integrate. Indel of log x is a very famous one. You put into 1 dx. So you get log x times x minus integral. The derivative is 1 by x and the same thing. And you get x log x minus cut cut this dx x plus c. And if you want you can take common and write x into log x minus 1 plus c. So time to substitute. So our integral becomes limit h tends to 0. I know that for sure. Now I will check integral of log x. Yeah. So we have x into log x minus 1. And the plug-in values are the lower limit 0 plus h and the upper limit 1. That is h to 1. 
So time to plug in these things and I'll circle X. Okay, so this becomes limit H tends to zero. When you plug in the upper limit, you get one into log one minus one. And when you plug in the lower limit, you get H log H minus one. Anyway, log one is zero, so you're going to get minus one. And I'm going to split the limit. Limit H tends to zero. This simplifies to minus one. Minus limit H tends to zero. Log H minus one by one by H. Do you know what I just did? I saw that if I plug in zero here, I will get zero times minus infinity because minus infinity minus one will give me minus infinity. This is an indeterminate form. So immediately I have to apply L'Hopital's rule. And if I want to apply L'Hopital's rule, it should be zero by zero or infinity by infinity. I want to create zero by zero or infinity by infinity. So what I did is I just flipped this H and made it by one by H. Because you can write H as one by one by H. Nothing wrong with that. Now try to plug in. When you plug in here, it becomes minus infinity. And when you plug in over here, it becomes infinity. Here we go infinity by infinity. And in the next line, I can apply L'Hopital's rule. So this is equal to, anyway, this is a constant. So it's minus one. Minus, now let's have some fun, fun, fun doing this limit. Okay, so we have to differentiate the numerator. So limit h tends to zero. Log h becomes one by h minus zero by, do you remember the derivative of one by x? That is minus one by x square. Uh, now that will be minus one. This minus and minus will be plus limit h tends to zero, you flip it, etc, etc, ah, that will be zero. So that is minus one. So our final answer will be the given integral is convergent and it converges to minus one. So I'll wind up this video right here. I'll be back soon with uh, a few important problems and special case of type 2. So once more I will give you a small briefing. Type 1. Type 1 means one of the limits will be associated with infinity or minus infinity. And in some cases both the limits will be associated with infinity and minus infinity. And I hope it is clear. And type 2 I want to make things simple. I want to keep things very simple. So I have classified it into simple problems. Simple problem means the lower limit or the upper limit will make our function tend to infinity. So what we do is we erase that point and we go forward or backward depending on whether it's a lower limit or the upper limit. If it is the lower limit, we move forward. If it is the upper limit, we come backward and try to evaluate. And as always, it can be divergent or convergent. And finally, in the next video, we'll be doing some special cases. That's very important for the exam, by the way. And in this, a point between A and B, a point between A and B will make our function Ten to infinity and that was the question I kept on asking did you evaluate minus 1 to 1 1 by x square dx see here the villain is a point between minus 1 and 1 and this is what I call type 2 special case anyway I'll be back soon uh, with more improper integrals so till then my friends bye